he has seen countless civilizations destroyed by the Anthem. The javelins helped with countering the chaos and allowed us to build walls tall enough to keep threats out, tall enough to protect our families. But the Anthem still rages on and wars can only last so long. But with the power of the Anthem, he can change our fate and end our suffering, even if it leads us to our own destruction. The monitor is a mischievous special dominion operative who currently leads a dominion force tasked with capturing and controlling the Anthem, and is an antagonist to the main character, the sentinels and the freelancers as well. He is a unique individual who is skilled enough to be both a javelin user and a cipher all at the same time, which in this universe is stated that not something an everyday cipher is capable of achieving because of how they preserve the world. This is incredibly noteworthy for those that achieve it, but tough for many ciphers to achieve, but not impossible. Currently there are only two characters we know of who has achieved this state, that being the monitor and Owen, who is slowly but surely massing ability from what we can tell. How powerful he is, is currently not that known, but such examples of his ability can be seen when we enter the resting place of Helena's grave where he is capable of producing a projection of himself from long distance without a hitch. Another example is when he manages to scramble our UI to interface with us, even though he is miles away from us. This is only a small example of how skilled the cipher abilities are, but from what we know, no other cipher has been capable of pulling off these feats as well. Now standing to around, I'd say around 6.5 feet, or maybe just 6 feet, the monitor is a smooth talking, calculated and vicious leader who would do whatever it takes to complete his objective, even if it involves the lives of the innocents or the lives of his own men. At the same time, he uses a modified Storm Javelin exosuit, which would like it has either had a modification done to enhance his abilities or to further provide more defense for their lack of armor for Storm Javelin. Not much can be told as to what his fighting capabilities are since we don't have any encounters with us fighting him in his suit nor has there been any named examples of where he fights. We've only seen one instance of him using the suit to kill a regulator for information on the relic, and then uses force field to absorb damage coming from us. But from there, that's everything we currently know about the properties of the suit. It might be a special variant designed by the Dominion, or it just might be a specially designed one operated only by the monitor. Now we first learned about the monitor in the Battle of Freemark, where him and Dr. Harkin tried to use the ancient relic Tenatab to access an ancient relic underneath the city, to which they believe would allow them to control the anthem or part of it. However, through trying, the relic went out of control, destroyed Freemark, killed a large number of people, and turned it into the dreaded Heart of Rage that we currently know of. From there, we know that he survived the encounter, but not as the same person as before. He became sort of deranged and focused on reclaiming the Anthem's power for his own, with destructive consequences that we learn throughout the story. The last time we see the monitor is in the final mission of the Ruins of Freemark, to where he extends and becomes a demigod through the use of the Cenotap, to which he successfully manages to activate, which then leads to a boss fight between us and him, and then him getting ultimately killed by a strider near the end. Whether that's the end of the monitor is still unknown, as many speculate that he survived the impact by teleporting away in time, but others say that because of his weakened state, he was killed upon impact. Nothing has been clarified as yet, but hopefully we'll get indications stating otherwise. And that is everything we know about the monitor in short, it's very brief on the villain as it seems that they want to keep his identity and fate a secret for now. But there are a few things you should know about him that's not made clear in the game. Or is made clear in the game, but not fully explained or explored. Firstly, the name Monitor isn't a personal name he made for himself, but rather a title that's given out to specialist Dominion operatives who act as secret police that monitor or work in areas of interest for Dominion. Now, of course, this is just a quote from the Codex, but this means two things. One, there are more than one Monitor present in the world, and two, there are other Monitors who are near or exactly on the same power level as the current Monitor we face. This is worrisome, as although we didn't fight the monitor in his human state, we know how generally powerful he is from some of the cutscenes and interactions from other NPCs. With him MIA, this means another monitor will take up his place, learn what the last monitor got up to, and then carry on from his place onwards, which means our fight against the monitor isn't over until every last one is defeated. Although we do know that the current monitor we face is the only unique individual to be both a javelin user and cipher, 
So the rest must be only categories as skilled Cypher users or just skilled Javan users. But this is all unconfirmed at the current moment, and just theory. With their title, they also seem to have a large group of soldiers under their control, which is under pure speculation on my end as it's based off just one monitor we face. This may be different for the rest depending on what their objectives are, since the current monitor's tasks are to focus on recovery and troll relics, and the anthem. But considering the title they have, which I would say is keen to be in a captain in real life, they most likely all have a large sized group to troll, but all of them most likely answer to someone else higher than them. Now we know how special the current monitor is because of its abilities, so a question we should be asking ourselves is are the rest of the monsters as powerful as the one we face? Answer to that is most likely yes, as to become one you must undergo a special training that would make you calculate it but swift reactions. Meaning you gotta be the best of the best from what I can tell. From what we know, we know the Dominion are brutal in how they treat individuals and others up in the northern regions, to the point of being near indoctrinated with their goals and how everything they do is for their regime. They're most likely trained in a way to be the best of the best and to rely on everything they've been trained on to survive whether they're on their own or managing an army. That and they also probably get further enhancement through use of enhancement drugs to make them as much of a skilled fighter in or outside of the suits, but probably have some sort of side effects as well. There's also the beginning line where he states he's seen countless civilizations destroyed by the anthem. However, for this to be possible, he would need to be very, very, very old to witness all of this in the past, or somehow peer into the future to see all these things play out. We don't have much of a clue as to how many civilizations before us have lived and died. Perhaps he has lived a very long life since he was a kid and survived many of these encounters. Or perhaps the monster is something else, a very unique individual that may have discovered something that prolongs his life. Or perhaps it's just a similar quote he made up. We don't know, but all we can do is theorize until then. But this is as far as it goes for knowing everything about the monster and some of his backstory and whether he will return. It's not confirmed he died, nor confirmed he lived, but whether dead or alive, another monitor will most likely take up his place now that there are more of them that exist. And with that bit of information, it's enough for us to worry about what the next one may bring to us, and the very next challenge for all of us to face. So if you all enjoyed the lore content, please by all means leave a like, sub and share for more for more future content. But like always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all around in the next one.